Hey there guys, welcome to our first ever podcast, which we have named Spilling the Cheese. My name is Craig and here with me is my beautiful husband, Peter. Today, we are going to be chatting about some of this week's events, talking about some of the wacky things going on in the world, including the social media blackout. And if you stick around, me and Peter will be spilling the cheese on our wedding day from last November, which you are not going to want to miss. So, Peter, how has your week been this week? What other word can I use for busy? Hectic. I was actually th- <laughs> I was actually thinking that um, this week is the first week where I feel that it's the first week where it's dragged of 2024. Yeah. But for me, not in a bad way because it means I've got like a lot more things done. I, I feel like it's overstayed as welcome this week. <laughs> well, let's hope that the weekend drags <laughs> just as long. Yes. <laughs> well, I think the more, one of the most dramatic things um, that came from this week for everybody is um, Facebook and Instagram went down. Such a hard life, isn't it, when that goes down? <laughs> did, did you even notice that, like, you know, it, 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 it all gone down? Because I had to send you a text message, didn't I? <laughs> I, I think I, I didn't notice. I was in the office. I didn't notice. Hmm. But when you said it, I was like, huh, I haven't had any notifications. It's been quite nice. I literally <laughs> panicked, didn't I? Because um, I thought I'd been hacked. I thought I had been hacked. I think a lot of people around the world thought that, that they had been hacked because um, I went on my phone and then it just logged me out and then I couldn't get back in. Oh. And I'm one of those people that has the same Facebook account since, like, the beginning, since early 2007. Oh, so if it's gone, it's gone. If it's gone, it's... Yeah, I've had it for, what, what do we know, 2024, so about 17 years. Oof. So do you have your same Facebook account? No. I changed mine. Don't you have an old one yeah. somewhere floating around? Everybody, go and check out Peter. Search for Peter, Peter Signs, and um, you'll find his old Facebook Peter somewhere. Peter Pedro Signs? Pedro. I think, I think that's it is. Right. Where did Pedro come from? Um, college. This lovely girl, Mel. Absolutely nutcase. Hi, Mel, if you're watching. <laughs> Absolutely headcase. Um, but in the nice way, not the weird way. That's... <laughs> Let's just clarify that. Yeah, you do have some weird, odd people, don't you? Yeah. But you but do get the good ones, I she, guess. She didn't like calling me Peter. Mm-hmm. And she was like, I don't know what to call you. I don't like Peter. Like, I was like, no offence taken, you know? To be fair, I call you Baby Egg. Yeah, that's true. Quite a lot, Baby Egg. And my uh, my little platypus. Yeah. And um, she was like, Pedro. Pedro sounds fun. It sounds exotic. <laughs> so apparently I was exotic. Does Pedro mean Peter in a different language? Spanish. Spanish. Ah, so if you lived in Spain, you would be Pedro. Yeah. Interesting. My name Craig means rock. Comes from a rock in Scotland. Hard-headed. <laughs> Cheeky beggar. <laughs> well, Facebook went down. Instagram was down. Messenger was just a bit slow for me. And then I was like, I went on to X, formerly known as Twitter, and um, just to see what the freak was going on. And... Um, I saw that things were down. Somebody said WhatsApp was down. I thought, how am I going to contact you? Yeah. yeah. I ended up sending you a text, didn't I? It was so weird. But yeah, I ended up sending you a text, um, all dramatic, saying, oh my God, babes, everything's gone down. It's the end of the world. Just just letting you know that I'm okay. I survived the apocalypse. <laughs> and um, when you drive home, drive safe. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I'm a little bit of a drama queen like that. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. But saying that, you know, Facebook is a lot of people's businesses. Yeah. So now that Facebook is like Meta, is it Meta they've called? Meta, yeah. So Meta is now in charge of Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp. It's all linked. Yeah. So if, if Meta goes down, pretty much the inter- social media, most of social media goes down. Well, seeing as we're on the subject of social media... Um, I actually, I've got an article here about a potential TikTok ban 
in the US. Ah, oh, is this one that's been floating around? Legislation passed through the US House Energy and Commerce Committee unanimously on Thursday calling on China's, is it Byte Dance? I have no idea what that is, to divest its ownership of TikTok or effectively face a US ban. Republican House Speaker Mike Johnson, who supports the bill, has indicated it will soon come up for a full vote in the House. And, and, I only, I only learned about this one today. Mr. Biden actually said when he was asked by reporters yesterday, if they pass it, he will sign it. So, oh, hot off the press, TikTok could potentially be banned in the US of A. But why? Do you know what? This just adds fuel to the fire of conspiracy. So the official, I think the official reasons behind it is because of um, China spying on the US or sharing personal data, but don't all social media platforms do that in some shape or form? See, what I always think is TikTok, you get away with a lot more yeah. of what you post. And um, yeah, I, I'm just thinking like, if it does get banned in the US, is it going to get... Do you think the UK, where we live, is going to eventually follow suit? Well, we seem to follow everything they do, so... We do. You know. the, UK, the UK does like to follow a lot of um, the US. But um, how would we cope without TikTok? Oh, I love a good scroll on TikTok. And there is another app that we discovered, I think it was sometime last year, and it's called Clapper. I was going to say Clapper. Um, I'm not... Is it a US-made thing? Yeah. Or it is a US-made thing. It's exactly the same as TikTok. However, the, the, the user interface is a bit slower than yeah. TikTok, and I don't think it's as popular. I did a cheeky little live on there a few times. Um, but if TikTok does get banned, do you reckon Clapper or another app similar to TikTok might take off? I, I I think that if they get rid of that one, they'll replace it with something else. Mm. Everything's being replaced. It is, yeah. But it would be heavily um, sort of like filtered though, wouldn't it? Yeah. Like Facebook. You can't get away with a lot on Facebook or Instagram these days. X, Twitter, I suppose you can get away with a lot more. But TikTok seems to be the one where anything goes. Example time. Chelsea yeah. Lee Art, who is a big TikToker, she has done many like questionable things on her lives and videos. Oh, is it, oh, she's the one who shouts out "Roots, Roots, darling." Yeah. <laughs> there was an incident a while back. I didn't see this happen live, but however, I have seen the video because a lot of a lot of the viewers screenshot a lot of Chelsea Lee Art's yeah. stuff, and there was something involving a hairbrush. Oh, I, um, yeah. The, the video can be found on um, on Reddit. I just looked for it out of curiosity because I'd seen people talking about it on TikTok and I thought, what is this hairbrush video? And um, yeah, that was on a TikTok live and she's still on TikTok. So that is a prime example here who, um, you know, you can get away with a lot more on TikTok, I find. Oh, God. Where did she stick that hairbrush, Pete? Wow. <laughs> it went down the dark hole. It did go down a dark hole, didn't it? It did. Yes. Front or back? I can't remember. Back door. Was it the back one? <laughs> oh, God. Poor hairbrush. That's what I say. <laughs> Guys, if we have anybody watching the video today who is from the US of A, hey, and uh, let us know like, what you think about this potential TikTok ban. We're going to be chatting about um, behind the scenes of our wedding very shortly. But before we do, I did find an article about um, a certain horror film that was voted the worst. Winnie the Pooh, Blood and Honey has swept the board at the Razzie Awards. The movie won Worst Picture, Worst Screenplay, Worst Director, Worst Ripoff, and Pooh and Piglet. They were both depicted in the film as bloodthirsty killers. Well, they won worst on-screen couple. <laughs> have um, you seen the trailer for it? I have. I have seen the trailer for it. And um, I did... I watched it with you, I think, didn't yeah. we? Um, what did we? we? What we? Yeah, I'm sure we did. <laughs> what were your thoughts on uh, the Winnie the Pooh trailer? Why try and... I, I know they're trying to turn, like, the lovey-dovey, beautiful happy daisy things into horrors but there's ways of doing it but why why turn like a really innocent children's cartoon 
into a horror film. Can you imagine now if your niece, our nieces and nephews watched, they put the wrong Winnie the Pooh on. Can you imagine? <laughs> Let's not play that trick though. Aww. It would scar them for life. They will never even be able to watch the cartoon version of Winnie the Pooh. Why is the, just from the trailer, you can see that there was not much effort put into that. No. It's, and like, the way that it was done was so poorly made. You see like the amateur people making films so much better quality. Even on TikTok, you see all those amazing ads and videos and stuff. Mm -hmm. Apparently they might be making a Winnie the Pooh 2. With what budget? <laughs> well, we haven't even watched this horror film yet. And I'm going to be honest with you. I'm probably not, unless unless I get a request. Can we watch it on my horror YouTube channel um, for me to review it? Then you know I'm not gonna go out of my way and watch this film. I've seen other YouTubers review this film, and it is not the best reviews. I'll be honest with you. Go over and ask. I want to watch it. I mean, let me know in the comments box, guys. <laughs> Would you like to see us watch Winnie the Pooh and do a horror joint horror review? over on my horror channel, which I will link in the description box below. Okay then, so we are now going to spill the cheese on our wedding, which was in November last year, the 30th. God, doesn't it feel like it was such a long time ago now? There's been a lot of drama in between. Mm-hmm. Yes, but the day itself was fantastic, wasn't it? Yes, it, it really was a beautiful day. We were in such... We were in a wedding bubble for a good month after when we were just yeah. on cloud nine. Random now, looking back, because we we went the day, the night the day before to set everything up. And we were like awake super early, didn't go to bed till super, super late the day before the wedding. Yeah. How on earth did we manage to stay standing on the wedding day until like midnight, 1am? Because we did. Alcohol. <laughs> what? <laughs> but normally alcohol will send me to sleep. Yeah. Um, I think it's just the buzz, the rush, and like seeing everyone and interacting, and like you meeting my side of the family you've never met, and me same for you. It's just like, yeah, it's just such a beautiful day. Actually, I was gonna say it was really nice to finally meet some um, people from your side yeah. who I hadn't met yet. Um, actually, funny story about that. I think it was about a week before the wedding. Now I'm a little bit of a panicker when it comes to events because I need to know. Um, if people are coming and they're like friends or family members of yours, I need to know their faces so I know to say the right name. I am that sort of person. I am very like sort of polite, I suppose, in that sense. So I went on an adding spree on Facebook yeah. a week before the wedding <laughs> just to make sure that I knew everyone. Um, but everyone was lovely. Everyone was really, really nice. You met my cousins. I did. Um, it was the first time I'd seen my cousins since I was a little boy. Oh, very, very young. A long time ago. Very, it's a very long time ago. <laughs> Ain't gonna argue with that one. Yeah. But yeah, no, the, the, the day was beautiful. The weather was, was perfect. It stayed dry. It was a bit chilly, but it was lovely. Yeah. We wanted that, didn't we? We wanted a bit of a cold wedding because we can't stand being hot. Oh no. I love the summer, don't get me wrong, but this country is not equipped for summer. Funny story though, when um, the photographer came and I was in the bath. Oh, <sighs> mortifying. So... Like, I, I I take longer, like, looking this good, you know, take some work. So, I shoved him in the bath first. I went for a shower. Oh, no, I did have a bath first. I had a shower the day before. Yeah, anyway. Um, yeah, so I had a bath first because I take longer to get ready. We didn't know what time the photographer was going to be with us. We knew it was turning up early uh, to go and see, like, all the mothers or the sisters or the girls and everyone getting their hair and makeup done and everything and then he popped in before he went down and um so i was getting ready i was like putting my shirt on my suit on and everything and he's still in the bath i was in the bath and i didn't realize how what the time was like the, that morning flew so we was like oh um if you go down to the nurse's block and uh, take their photos first, because we're not ready. <laughs> and he was like, oh, do you want to get, like, get some ready? I was like, no, Craig's in the bath. <laughs> he was like, I'll go down to the nurse's block. We're like, yeah, that's fine. Thank you. <laughs> so he then came back. So he was nice and he was nice and relaxed, nice and chilled. And like, 
he would throw ideas out. So it's not just the standard photos. He would throw ideas out because obviously, as you can tell, no bride. Um, <laughs> so it's not the traditional photos. It was our photographer was amazing, the oh, best. Yes. I think we were very very fortunate to have met our amazing photographer. And um, he's actually doing us our well, your sister in law, my sister's wedding. Yes. yes, this October. So it's weddings galore at the moment. But no, he was absolutely fantastic. Really, really was. I just think when I look back at the wedding, I just think of that moment where the photographer arrived and I was in the bath. And it was just one of those hilarious moments that I'm going to take to the grave with me. It was brilliant. It gets worse. Oh, God. Like when he comes out of the bath and he starts to get ready. He forgets to empty said bath. I couldn't get the plug out. So, like, I had these fabulous glittery shoes for the evening. They are fabulous. And, like, I had them in the in the main room. We shut the bathroom off. And um, he decided to go in the bathroom, use the red curtains <laughs> in the bathroom, next to the bath. It's my dirty water, bath water. <laughs> And it had his bath water in there. I couldn't get... I the... didn't realise until he walked out with my shoes that he was in there with Craig's bath water. I couldn't get the bath water out. I couldn't get the plug out. And I thought <laughs> maybe my future husband at that point was about to help me out and remove plug from no, bath. No, I had my suit on. I wasn't helping. So the bath water remained. Actually, I think we left the castle after the wedding... With bath water still in bath. No, I did take the plug out. <gasps> Thank I God. did take the plug out. Do you know something that did get left behind? What, my glasses? Your glasses, but also I think one of us left our underwear in on the floor in the bathroom. I totally forgot to pick them up. So, um, so oh my God, something else that was hilarious. So we had um, our family members walk down the aisle before us. and Because uh, we didn't have bridesmaids and no. things. So we thought, we just want our family to be a part of it. So we got them to walk down the aisle before us, which we thought was just amazing. And when it was our turn to walk down the aisle, they told us, you know, take your time walking down the aisle. And so our aisle is kind of like on a slant. It, it goes down a little bit and then you get some steps. So you walk up the steps and you're on a stage, essentially. So it was our turn. They said, go on in, off you go, off you pop. And um, we started pretty much sprinting down yeah. the aisle. <laughs> I was just like, we just, we just power walked. It's like, we didn't even take our time. And we were just, we were told moments before, take your time. No. Blah, 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 blah. We ran down the line. <laughs> and they they made a point on the way out to go to us, go slower than you walked in. Like, they had to tell us and go, right, slow. And then we had um, a lot of confetti thrown in our faces, didn't Jasmine. we? Jasmine. <laughs> yes, our friend Jazz. <laughs> Isn't there a photo somewhere that you said you saw in one of the pictures? She's literally like this. <sighs> And like the the um, the registrars say, make sure you go like that. And Throw we knew, over. and we knew when you can start seeing those people move to the front. You know, it ain't going above you. To be fair, I'm six foot four, and you're like six foot two, two and a half, two and a half. So we're both very tall lads. Plus, we had very smart shoes on, so we were like a little bit bigger. Um, so f you know, to be fair to our lovely friends and family. It was going to be a hell of a stretch for them to get that yeah. over our heads. I think there is a photo somewhere of which the photographer took of literally just me with a face full of confetti after the throw of jazz, which literally went like that. And there's me walking down the aisle looking all nice and sweet and going, <sighs> <sighs> oh my God, I just had a flashback. So when I went for a pee for the first time after um, after all that and having like welcome drinks and, and so oh, forth, yeah. I went for a pee in the toilets that were next to the conservatory and um, I undid my fly of my trousers and out poofs a load of confetti. I have no idea how all that confetti, there's a lot of confetti in my, in my, in my trousers. Yeah. <laughs> because, but our shirts are tucked in. Yeah. How do they get in? I reckon like Kirsty or someone like slipped them in as you're walking down without realising. Oh, well, I was not expecting a load of confetti to poof out <laughs> yeah. of my crotch. And they were tight trousers as well I was yeah. wearing. So how... I'm, 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 I must have had one hell of a bulge going on. Um, 
until I opened up that fly and out popped the, <laughs> the confetti. But then I remember thinking, oh my God, this has just gone all over the toilet, all over the toilet floor. Everyone's going to know who used this toilet. Because, <laughs> <laughs> of course, I'm going to tell everybody what just happened, you know? So everyone's going to know that was me that used that bathroom. Yeah. So um, we had, like, the beautiful photos and everything, like the group photos, and then we had family photos. And then we had the... Um, private, just me and you, husband and husband photos. Yes, didn't we? We did. They, that was cool. I was, I think, beforehand, if I was nervous of anything, I was a bit nervous of having the private photos. I was more nervous of walking down that s- slope to get to the photos because I was wearing shoes with no grips on this slant, which is like this. And anyone that knows me knows I am the clumsiest person you'll ever meet. It was mad, wasn't it? Because we were, like, doing photos one minute, trying to get the family together. And I tell you what, trying to get your all guests together for photos. Jesus Christ! Literally, get them a tagging system, which, like, electrocutes them, I think is the best option. Honest to God. Just to remind them, oh, I need to be somewhere. Honest to God. The big one, you know the one of everybody that oh, we're trying yeah. to get... There was people scattering to the bar, people scattering for the free bottle of a free glass of something or other, and we're just like, guys, it's two minutes. Two minutes! And we need you all there. Yes, it's cold. Yes, it's fun. But just give a cuddle to the person next to you. It doesn't matter if you don't know them. We're all family now. Actually, there's a beautiful photo of the family and your sister Lottie oh, is yeah. hugging my my stepmom Fran with her little coat thing. Her shawl I over to keep her warm. That's one of my favourite photos. Yeah. One of many, but, but yeah, definitely one of the, my favourite family photos. Um, but yeah, trying to get everybody together was um, was difficult, and I believe you not, a few people didn't make that photo, even though like we tried. Yeah. So yeah, um, then, um, oh gosh, talking about nerves, it was speeches as well. Mm. I wasn't nervous about doing my speech until just before, and I tell you why, because we were supposed to do our speeches before, before the meal, but it, it, last minute change, we ended up doing it after the meal, so... Throughout the meal, it was playing on my mind. Oh my God, we've still got speeches to do. Whereas I would have preferred to have got it out of the way. Yeah. Were you nervous doing your, waiting to do your speech? I was nervous before the first speech in regards to before we were eating. Like I was nervous at that point thinking, ah, oh, the speeches are coming. But then I had food and I completely forgot about the speeches mm. until someone went, Peter, it's your turn to do the speech. I'm like, oh, okay. Like, oh, oh, I just did my speech. <laughs> you see, it was on my mind all through while we were having food. So, you know what I'm like with food? Nothing gets in between me and my food. When it came to speeches, oh my God. Well, we didn't cry, did we? But we came very no. close. Yeah. We made, I made all of um, my lovely friends from Gow- hometown Gowerton and Swansea, they were all a blubbering mess after my dad's and then my speech. Yeah, yes. Yeah, oh bless them. I mean, to be fair, at that stage, it was probably like quite late in the, like early evening, but late in the afternoon. Half, so half six? Everybody would have had quite a bit of drink, I would say, yeah. at that point as well. So the alcohol didn't help. <laughs> And then, of course, we had the evening party, which was a load of fun and lots of food. Lots of food with fish and chips, which were absolutely flipping beautiful. I had the chips. I, I turned my head back, um, turned to talk to someone, came back, and all my fish had gone. I'm like, oh, someone stole my fish. Someone snaffled your fish. <laughs> someone snaffled your fish? I know. Oh my god, I would have been going nuts. Absolutely nuts. I So we had a cheese cart, because obviously oh. this one loves cheese. Didn't get any cheese though on the night. We had a sweet cart, because I love sweets. We had a Refrero Rocher Tower, which mum kindly donated to us. A donut wall. Donut well. wall we had. Yeah, there was plenty of munch for everybody, because, you know, everybody's getting pissed mm. at that point. So you need to make sure everybody's making sure they're having food and stuff. And it's not just the, the food that comes with the, the wedding deal. Yes. Um, it's about all the add-ons as well. And just that extra little bit of touches. Um, it was like a light party our evening. It really was. We had a seven-foot inflatable snowman. We had a five-foot inflatable unicorn, both with lights. We had the carryad sign in there with the DJ lights of Mr. and Mr. and the DJ lights. Even the um, the staff 
at the castle where we got married, they even said they'd never seen anything like this no. before. To the point where a staff member went around and took photos. Are they going to use it like for future winter weddings and stuff? So we're going to be featured somewhere. We we wanted to create an atmosphere in each room. So because you had like the dining room or the, where, the lounge, then you had the bar. And then you have the conservatory, and then the di- um, dance room, and then we wanted to make sure each room had a different feel and a different characteristic, and and there was stuff in every room, so it was nice and full, and yeah, it was lovely, wasn't it? Really, really nice. Yeah, but looking back, I do still keep thinking to myself, how did we? Because we woke up the day after the wedding, and we were both completely fine. Yeah, hangover free. We got to bed really, really late. I was up at about quarter to eight because I had to go and pick the dog up, oh, Pepper, yeah. from um, the dog place. And um, and then we had to get everything back to the house. Looking back now, like, wow. I know. Wow. Have you ever seen that film, Confessions of a Shopaholic? This one. <laughs> I made you watch that film, didn't I? I was yeah. like, this is you. <laughs> Chicken, I like that film. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, that was brilliant. I mean, are there any like anything else from the wedding that you'd like to mention to anybody? Anything from behind the scenes? Because in, at the end of my wedding speech, I told everybody that you know, make sure tonight now, I want you all pissed. I want you all on the dance floor. Let your hair down. Don't worry about what you're looking like. Have a good time. We're all amongst friends, and everybody did. Everybody did. I, have a I, I feel time. that it brought everyone together in regards to the. I, I've got family all over, like all over, but they all came down and came to celebrate with us. So mm. for us, it was really nice to have everyone in one place mm. at one time. For the people that couldn't make it, like we've got plans to go and see them mm-hmm. and have a meal out with them or something. Um, but it's, it was really nice for everyone to take the time out because obviously on a weekday as well mm-hmm. they would have had to book a few days off but it was nice for them to come down celebrate with us and nice long weekend for them yeah Andy and Stacey were really really lovely I, I love Andy and Stacey yeah. in fact a few of um, the girls Mel and Katie and Steph they all they all mentioned Stacey they all said oh my yeah. gosh she was lovely so yes we'll have to go up and see them so yes, Andy and Stacey 100% I didn't realise they were from, from up north I thought they were from like the Kent area no the, no when the... you when you said because I've driven to Sheffield a few times I used to have a friend that lived there and I've done a few messy weekends in Sheffield and it's not it's a long drive it's a long ass yeah. drive okay so moving on we couldn't do this podcast this week anyway Without talking about Celebrity Big Brother, the one that's happening in the UK right now. Oh my God, I'm loving it. Talk about spilling the cheese. Sharon Osbourne, she ain't holding back. Oh my God, the name drops that are coming out of the woodwork. I am loving it. I'm here for it. I'm. This is what Celebrity Big Brother is all about. Yeah. I'm here for it. Um, who she slagged off in total then? Simon Cowell. Adele. James Corden. James Corden. I'm not a lover of him. E- even though I love him in Gavin and Stacey. You I'm, love him as that character. As, I like not the character, yeah. yeah. So I'm with Sharon, with James Corden. But yeah, the Simon Cowell one was juicy. Absolutely juicy. I can't believe that. I think she's leaving on Monday. I think... Oh, it's on tonight. Um, it is on tonight. I think... She's leaving tonight, isn't she? Because she was only booked in for five days. Mm. So five days would have been Friday, mm. the eviction night, but obviously they wouldn't have kicked her out on the eviction night. No, it would have been Saturday because she didn't go into the house till Monday night. Yeah. So that wouldn't so, be a full day, would it? So we would see it tonight, possibly. Possibly. Her yeah. going. Mm. But then my thing is, how is Louis going to cope? He seems to be making those clicks already. Louis Walsh is an absolute bitch but i'm here for it i am flipping here for it he's going around he is shit stirring he's bitching about x y and z and i'm freaking loving he's it. false as hell he is he is isn't he and he threw sharon under the bus yeah, at one within point. five minutes <laughs> <laughs> who's your favorite housemate in celebrity big brother at the moment i do love zizi because she the way she's coming across, especially with that confrontation that she had. She's done a lot of arguments, and but we're here for that as well. She's coming across on those well, mm-hmm. because she's not going in. She's trying to figure out what is, mm-hmm. and like the whole of the, 
Uh, can we have a hug so it doesn't make everyone else feel awkward? No, love. You want a hug when it's about us, not about them. Like, yeah, I kind of, I don't know what I feel. I'm kind of on the fence with ZZ. Not, nothing to do with the arguments. It's just, she, I don't know if I would get on with him, if I'm honest with you. She seems to be very much of a tomboy. I've noticed she's always with the boys. Yeah. She's not with the girls because she had a bit of a, bit of a mini argument with, what's her name? Ekin Sue. Yeah. She had a bit, had a bit of a, a running with her. So I've got a feeling she clashes a lot with women. I have no idea what that argument between Ekin Sue and ZZ was about. Like, all she said was, oh, it's a bit like a holiday, really, isn't it? You're in the sun, you're relaxing, and you're enjoying yourself. And then she goes, not for me, it won't. No, love, it doesn't matter if you've divorced him or got rid of him or still with him. That's it's a holiday, yeah. in a sense, isn't it? Like, yeah, she doesn't seem very keen on talking about Love Island, um, but she's got to remember that's where she came from. That's all she's known for. Yeah. Like, I don't know her from anything else. Do you know who I love in Celebrity Big Brother? Fern. I absolutely love Fern. I, I feel like she needs more, I hate using this term, like screen time to learn more about her as a person, not her as the person. That I think maybe um, if she survives a bit longer, which I'm sure she will, I can't see her being up for eviction no. anytime soon. Um, she would only really be up for eviction if it was like the whole house or she failed a task or something, yeah. you know? I feel as, as the house empties over the coming weeks... She can spend a bit more time... We'll see a lot more of her. Yeah. I do want to hear more gossip on Philip Schofield. I really, really yes. do. I find it very interesting when... Um, it was mentioned to her that Philip was supposed to come into the house and then Fern said maybe he'll come in later. And then she said, I may have to leave if that happens. Ooh. What does Fern know that we don't? Like, she knows something. No rumours. She knows something, like, that she's seen with her own yeah. eyeballs. And, um, yeah. Yeah, it's a very big, bold statement to say she would have to leave if Philip Schofield went in there. There was a lot of rumours that he was going in there. Yeah, but, but it's still good. Yeah, oh yeah, definitely. But I did say I can't see it because ITV like got rid of Philip Schofield because he was on this morning, wasn't he? Yeah. ITV. And now that Big Brother is ITV, I can't see them inviting him back. Not at this stage anyway. If he was still on Channel 5 or Channel 4, potentially he would have mm. been in there. But because it's an ITV show now... But do you, uh, the way I look at it that way is they've shut themselves in their foot then mm. because... That's what's going to draw the people in. That's what's going to want people. Mm -hmm. Like, going, come on, give me the goss. Like, it would have been a big thing for them to bring him back. Who was that politician who um, resigned after kissing a lady during um, COVID? He was on um, Jungle. What's his name? Um, you know, the one Home Secretary guy, was it? Not Cameron. Was Not Cameron? Cameron. Not no. Cameron. Um, him. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I can't think of his name. I'll put a photo of him here. There we are, him. Um, I thought, like, he would have gone in the house because he seems to love doing these celebrity oh, shows. SAS or whatever he went on as well after. Hancock. I... Matt That's Hancock. It. That is the little bugger. Um, yeah. I kind of feel... I thought he would probably be in there. Going well, in there. still could. <laughs> <laughs> It's always next year. Yeah. <laughs> but um, no, well, Celebrity Big Brother is on tonight. And I think it's going to be a bit longer because it's a bit of a double, D yeah. half a double sort of episode. Because it's going to cover eviction night and yet all of yesterday. Um, so that's Sunday night TV sorted. Ooh. Anyway, um, that is the end of the Celebrity Big Brother. And I believe that is the end of this week's first podcast. How do you feel about our first episode, Pete? I don't know why I was so nervous. He was. He was really, really <laughs> nervous. Um, like, I came up and I was sort of prepping what we were going to be chatting about in the intros and the outros yeah. and um, putting it in order. And Because a lot of it is just freestyling, you know, but you're not used to that, are you? No. I'm used to having a script in work. Definitely not on this kind of stuff. <laughs> or this one talking and I just go... Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To be fair, you've done really, really well. You've done a lot of chatting in this podcast um, because it is actually, as you say, one more TikTok lives. I tend to do most of the yeah. talking, don't I? But, but um, um, leave in the comments what you would like to hear us talk about. If there's anything you want to know, anything you want to discuss, if you've got any juicy stories you want us to read out, Get in those comments and leave us a message. I can only echo on the back of that is yes, get type in now. And um, also let us know if you enjoyed this episode of uh, Spilling the Cheese, episode one.
Routine wise, oh yeah, so every time you come on now, you've got to get like a proper wacky t-shirt. You've got lots of you. I want more. Everybody loves your yeah. t-shirts, but it's an excuse now to buy more. Yes! Um, Thank you, Wild. <laughs> so, um, you know, I think the schedule could be um, to film um, a podcast every Thursday and get it out by Friday. Yeah? Yep, going forward. So, you um, happy with that? Does that... Oh, that was uh, that was my wow. little speaker in the background <laughs> getting in on the action. <laughs> anyway, guys, yes. So, um, thank you all for watching. If you're still here, and um, yeah, let us know what you thought, and let us know what you'd like to see us chat about next week. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye.